like an hour. Happy fourth. Testing one, two, three. T on them.
Grand Marshals of the Parade. This is the first time that the Parade Committee has selected an organization. We honor the Fragment Society of Plymouth. Let's give these ladies a big round of applause. We invite the members of the society to please come forward and seat, uh, seat themselves at the grandstand. This is an organization that is 200 years old, and they have been serving those in need in this community for the entire 200 years. Again, a big round of applause for the Fragment Society. As the members are coming out and uh, finding seats, we'd like to inform you that once again, as is our tradition, the parade is dedicated to the men and women that have served and are serving in the armed forces. We in particular remember the members of Plymouth that are now serving in the armed services. Again, we salute the ladies of the Fragment Society. And the first political committee in, in the parade is that of our governor, Charlie Baker. We're pleased to have the governor of the Commonwealth here today and welcome him back in 2020 for our grand celebration. The Honorable Charlie Baker, governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Thank you to the governor for being here. And I can see that his supporters haven't lost any enthusiasm on this route today, have you? We want to thank Pilgrim's Progress for participating today and also the, uh, the guard, the, the Plymouth Guard for being in the parade. They add a great deal of uh, color and first back to our roots in 1620. Good morning, everyone. Happy Fourth. The next entry in the parade is the committee to re-elect Vinnie DiMacito. Senator DiMacito has, uh, is up for re-election this year. He's a former state representative. Senator Vinny D. Macedo. The next entry is, is on behalf of the D. Macedo uh, Committee, the Woody, and the, uh, the trailer was actually done over by Senator D. Macedo and his wife. They took something that was dilapidated and made it into a showpiece. Happy Fourth, Vinny. Happy Fourth of July to the Senator. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle restored by the Senator and his wife. The next is the Muratori Committee. Matt Muratori is our state rep. There he is. Happy Fourth, Matt. We appreciate the uh, support that the DiMacito Committee and the Muratori Committee have given us over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop the parade here for one second, and we're going to have the national anthem sung right now by Heather Askew, a Plymouth resident. So please all stand. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or 
are the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Heather. Heather comes from a you know, very talented musical family. Uh, last year, her father sang the national anthem. And uh, Heather, we invite you back for next year. Please join us again. The next entry in the parade is the Plymouth 400 uh, Committee. As many of you know, we're celebrating our 400th anniversary in two years, less than two years. And uh, we have members of the staff and volunteers that are with the van. This committee is one of the sanctioned events uh, of the 400th, and we're planning a bigger parade and a much, much larger 4th of uh, July fireworks display in 2020. The vehicle passing you uh, has the names of a number of people that have volunteered uh, their dollars towards this celebration. We are truly appreciative of that. Coffee's Package Store reminds us that a benefit uh, for the 400th is coming up. The Bass and Blue Tournament is coming up around the corner, and there's still time to register. One of the major fundraising efforts of Plymouth 400 are number plates, and they are still available at the Registry of Motor Vehicles. It's a very special plate. And it is the only one uh, in the Commonwealth that uh, celebrates a commemoration uh, of the founding of a community. I got too many lollipops. Okay. We understand the police let some cars in, so uh, these are uh, entry free uh, of any fees. So give them all an applause. They didn't expect to be center stage, but you are. If anyone needs a fast escape, we have um, a boat coming up. We can get you out fishing in about 10 minutes. Don't forget this evening, uh, the Plymouth Philharmonic is going to conduct their annual concert. This is one that rivals uh, what takes place on the Esplanade in, in Boston. We're, we're very proud of the Plymouth Philharmonic. And uh, certainly, if the conductor is Stephen, if you're here, uh, I'd love to have you come up before the parade ends and say a few words about the concert this evening. The fireworks display uh, promises to be wonderful. We know that there are uh, a little more difficult uh, viewing areas this year, but uh, a year from now it'll be all worth it. Uh, the Commonwealth is spending um, multi-million dollars to rehab this area from storm damage and also preparing it for uh, better visitation. So we put up for it for one year and then it'll be much better thereafter. The next entry in the parade is the Plymouth American Legion Post 40. 
this is a wonderful group of men and women that do a great deal of good deeds in, in our community. Let's give the Legion a big round of applause. Happy 4th to the American Legion Post 40, and we do appre appreciate you being here today, and we're sorry that there was a mix-up with the band. We'll give you a bigger one next year. We apologize to you. American Legion Post 40. To the post members, thank you for your patience this year. <laughs> thank you to Phil Ryan and American Legion Post 40. And the next entry is the Plymouth Pilgrims. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. They've, they've been coming into Plymouth now for a, a number of summers and uh, are very welcome. Plymouth Pilgrims, thank you guys. Okay, the Pilgrims, off to win another game. Our next entry is the Old Colony Club. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the oldest uh, club in the country, and if it isn't, it should be. So we salute the, uh, the members of the Old Colony Club. Thank you, and there you have the cannon. Did you fellas uh, fire the cannon this morning? You did, happy 4th. <laughs> That's where you belong. That's the official start for 4th of July in Plymouth was when you hear that cannon. That's one way to lose half your membership. <laughs> and in return to you, the Old Colony Club. Thank you. The youngest members are riding in the vehicles. I want you to know that. They told the old guys to walk, right? That's right. The old Conley Club, thank you. Our next entry, political entry, is the committee to reelect Tim Cruz. Tim is the, our district attorney and has served uh, for a number of terms in this particular office. We thank uh, District Attorney Tim Cruz for being in Plymouth today. Tim Cruz, welcome to Plymouth, happy 4th. Okay. And I believe this antique vehicle belongs to the Sheriff of Plymouth County. Let's see if the Sheriff's in driving. Sheriff, are you in the car? 
He is. Okay, we have the sheriff in the car. Next year for 2020, we want you to ride one of the horses, though. Oh, he hasn't brought them back for a few years. Someone is misbehaving, I think. You have a phenomenal treat coming up next. Let's give a warm welcome to the Spirit of America Band from Orleans. This band is extremely difficult to get. You have to book them years in advance, but this year they asked to be in the Plymouth Parade and we've already extended an invitation to have them in our parade for 2020. There won't be any more commentary. We want you to listen to this band that's going to put on a phenomenal show for you. So give them a warm, warm welcome, the Spirit of America Band. Come on, let's hear it. You can do better than that. Come on, one more time before they start playing. Come on, show them that you want them back. Thank you. <laughs> Where the chief of the call is on Union Street. <laughs> this is a band that will fall right back into formation. They know what they're doing.
Thank you, Spirit of America. Big round of applause and you're welcome back in 2020. Our next political entry is that of Bill Keating, our congressman. Right. Let's give a warm welcome to Bill. Bill is right in the front there behind his sign. Welcome back to Plymouth. And as, one, as two of my selectmen are saying up here, thank you for the dredging. We appreciate the uh, work that you did along with Senator Markey to get our beautiful harbor dredged in time for 2020. Thank you so much. Jolly Bletcher, you doing okay? Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bill Keating, candidate for re-election to the U.S. Congress. Also from Plymouth, John Mahoney. John Mahoney is currently a sitting uh, member of the Board of Selectmen and is running for state representative. John Mahoney. Yeah, I told you the five selectmen were here. We're just all over the place today. Big round of applause for the Civil Air Patrol. I think we missed you last year, and we love having you back this year, the Civil Air Patrol. Let's give these young folks a big round of applause. Oh, come on, they've been marching. You're only sitting. Come on, louder. Jan's Marching Band, thank you. The next of the vehicles are from Sullivan Toyota. We appreciate their support of the July 4th parade. McGee Toyota. Thank you, McGee Toyota, with an enthusiastic group of young people celebrating the 4th of July. <laughs> Beautiful fire engine from, Ju from the Georgetown Department. The next fire, the next uh, fire vehicle represents 22 Kill. 22 Kill's mission is to raise awareness to the suicide rate among veterans and first responders, educate the public on PTS and other mental health issues, and focus on suicide prevention through empowerment. 22 Kill offers a wide variety of programs and resources for all service members. These programs provide many forms of traditional and non-traditional therapies for both mental and physical health, serving veterans first, responders, and their families. Let's give a big round of applause to these people for the wonderful work they do. Thank you. And thank you for raising the awareness. 22 show. See you next year. For as long as we have been doing this parade, the Plymouth Rotary has been at front and center supporting us. We appreciate the donations, we appreciate the volunteer help, and the enthusiasm the Plymouth Rotary brings to the 4th of July parade. Thank you.
<laughs> if you need a fire truck, here it is. You can rent it. Our next political uh, entry is John Kingston, candidate for U.S. Senate this year. This is a big election year, and it is your responsibility to find out about all of these candidates that have participated in the parade. Thank you for coming to Plymouth, Mr. Kingston. Because Kingston doesn't have a parade, so we, you bring it to us. The next entry is from the Creative Kids Theater. Let's give them a big round of applause. There's a lot of effort that goes into putting a float in, and unfortunately, every year we seem to lose a few people. So those that do participate, give up themselves for a good week before the 4th of July. Thank you to the kids from the, the theater for being here today. Thank you. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you to the creative kids. Another organization that we're extremely proud to be affiliated with, the Plymouth Lions Club, have also been strong supporters of this parade, not to mention all of the wonderful work that they do with their iMobile and other programs in the town. It's a club devoted to serving the community of Plymouth. And by the way, they have a great pancake breakfast at least once a year. Right, Paul? We'll talk tomorrow. I'm trying to get a lot of personal business here today. Talk to you tomorrow, Paul. Thank you to the Plymouth Alliance Club, a club that has been growing by leaps and bounds right. in the last few years. Get ready, guys. There we go. That's it. Okay, folks, uh, we have uh, some wonderful bands, marching bands in the parade this year. But if I could only have one, it would be Dale and the Duds. Usually they end the parade to keep everyone in a good mood, but we decided to give them a break this year and do it midway through the parade since there were so many politicians in it. We do Dale appreciate we appreciate that. Thank you all. Happy birthday, America. For the rock and roll classic play, which we've been doing for 46 years. Maybe another 46. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you've been coming here for almost 37 years. And they don't look a day older.
Dale and the Duds. See you next year. Our next entry is the Plymouth Yacht Club sailing team. You can look at the ages they were their instructors. And we salute the Plymouth Yacht Club and the young sailors. This is a sailing program that is open to all of the youth in the community. Chris Sampson, thank you for putting together all of these young sailors. Hi, Maddie. This is a great sailing program. It teaches our young, our young uh, men and women all of the needs that they have to, to carry through life. Once again, Live Like Cam and the Super uh, Allergy Awareness uh, float is in the parade. We salute you coming back again this year. Thank you and for the message you deliver. The next political entry is the Kathy Lenatra Committee. Kathy is seeking the office of state representative. Plymouth has three state reps, and she would represent, an, uh, I believe, three precincts uh, in her district. And Tom O'Brien. Our county treasurer is still marching. Let's give these folks a, a nice welcome to Shirley Bikes. Russ Shirley and his family have been doing this for a number of years, and you can see that they're bringing along even the youngest ones. Let's give them a big round of applause. We are so pleased to have them back in the parade this year. The Shirley Bikes. I don't think many of us would even try that. Welcome to the Shirley Bikes. And we thank the pedicabs for being in the parade and assisting in fundraising. If you haven't had a, the opportunity to make a donation, this is a great time to do it. The parade, fireworks, and, and other expenses that we have in conjunction with putting on this day come close to uh, just a little over $100,000, and it's your contributions. And we thank a number of businesses that have been so kind and the individuals uh, to us in the town of Plymouth because without your support, there would not be a parade of fireworks uh, this year or, in, or the past 37 years. We do want to thank Entergy 42 Degree North and the South Shore Race Management for major donations along with the AD Makepeace Company, Glen Electric, and Wood Seafood. Okay, the VFW post, thank you. Let's give our veterans a little warm welcome. Our local post uh, is, does a lot of things very, very quietly, as does the American Legion. They serve the community and veterans. Thank you. Now this is a special treat and one that we don't get every year, so it's your enthusiasm that brings them back. This is the 215th Army Band. Let's give them a warm welcome because 
If you do that, we can get them back another year. So let's, let's get up on our feet and say welcome to these members of our military. Massachusetts Army National Guard Band. Additional thank yous that we'd like to make for major donations to the day's festivities are the Eastfield, <coughs> excuse me, the East Bay Grilled Southern New England Eye, the Newfield House, the Plymouth Rotary Charitable Fund, Marty's GMC, Plymouth Lions, Brennan's Smoke Shop, Anna's Harborside Grill, the Lobster Hut, Cabby Shack, and also an individual Addy Press. Our next entry is from Mutual Bank. They are a major donor to the parade every year. We appreciate your enthusiasm. We send the letter, you send the check. It works well. Mutual Bank. And they have courteous staff people that are marching in the parade today. Our next political committee is the Beth Lindstrom Committee for U.S. Senate. We welcome Beth to Plymouth. Again, this gives everyone a great opportunity to look at the candidates and have time to think before the election in September and, of course, the general election in November. Beth Lindstrom Committee. <laughs> Welcome to Plymouth, Beth. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Happy Fourth. Okay, the next float, if you haven't. Uh, been to Ziggy's, it's a great place to get a, an ice cream on the waterfront. The Romboldi family, Ziggy's ice cream. Well, they were giving out free samples at the beginning of the parade. You just happened to be at the end, so. All melted. Thank you to Ziggy's for being here today. Our next entry are the Friends of the Plymouth Dog Park. They have been working diligently to get the dog park uh, up and running. We thank them for all their enthusiasm, the Friends of the Plymouth Dog Park. The next entry is the Ark of uh, Greater Plymouth. Let's give these young people a big round of applause and for the great work done by the Ark. Thank you for being here. Happy Fourth of July. The Ark of Greater Plymouth. We appreciate all your enthusiasm, the Ark. 
Thank you. Let's give him one more round of applause for these young people. Every year we're looking for people to submit floats for the parade. So start thinking about what you can do next year. It's a lot of fun. Get your friends and neighbors together, business associates. Takes about a week to do it. We're very pleased also to have the, the Plymouth Lodge AF and AM, the Masons. Thank you very much for being here again this year. We appreciate your support and enthusiasm in the message that you deliver. This is just what we were talking about, the, the work that goes into a float. Let's give these folks from South Coastal, Bimalay, and Marshfield a big round of applause. Great float. Wonderful float. Absolutely. The South Coastal, Bimalay, Marshfield. And also the Rainbow Girls, we don't want to forget them. Thank you for this large contingent that came uh, from all over, the Demolay uh, boys, the Rainbow Girls, and the Lodge. Our No Place for Hate Committee, a committee of uh, very active individuals in the town that are doing a lot of good, good work. We appreciate the message and being here today. Bob Massey, candidate for governor. <laughs> Mr. Massey, uh, welcome to Plymouth. <laughs> Somebody just called me Kenny. They must have known me in the first grade. Bob Massey, candidate for governor. Again, we appreciate everyone that's participating in decorating trucks and vehicles and being in the parade. Okay, here come the champions. Plymouth Youth Baseball. Let's give these folks a big round of applause. They've had great seasons. We salute their coaches and the young people themselves. <laughs> well deserved. That's one way to make a clean sweep, right guys? From the field baseball, the district champs, congratulations. Another team, from the field baseball, the Ripton. These, these are all champions. See, you don't have to go to Boston to see a trophy handled in a parade. Come right here to Plymouth. Congratulations. Let's hear it for the champs. Congratulations. Hot dogs and apple pie, a true American landmark and Americana. 
Thank you, Colton. Where are you? Can we see you? Colton, thank you for being in the parade. And actually being a great contender for the uh, prize for the best theme float. Thank you. once again we're trying to do this every two years the blue coats of ohio thank you for being here and remember you have the invitation to be here in 2020 we love having you the blue coats all right i'd like to see everybody just get up for a minute and give them a warm welcome it is such an honor to have you back
Ladies and gentlemen, another warm, warm round of applause for the Blue Coats. Thank you. As you know, the invitation is welcome to come anytime you're in the area. Thank you so much. Doesn't get any better than that. This band is now heading to Duxbury, so stay cool, folks. Our next candidate is the Tedeschi Committee for Congress. Welcome, Mr. Tedeschi. The committee, Tedeschi for Congress. After the Tedeschi vehicle is a 1965 Citroen. I forgot to tell the members of the Fragment Society, we're going to use this as one of the vehicles to get you back and forth to the grist mill. We're going to see how many we can put in this one vehicle. What do you think? Five or six? Yeah. 1965 Citroen. Frank Mann. Frank has decided that he's going to walk across the country in 2020 talking to people in other communities, informing them about what Plymouth is doing. Uh, Frank, uh, I think you're going to need more than the knapsack. Are you going to travel light? He's going very light. Frank Mann from... Frank, welcome. Okay, here it is. A surprise from the Stearns family. Southern Marsh. They have become an annual float in the parade. Will Stearns and his family welcome. Brothers Marsh Golf Club, thank you, Will Stearns and family. Tomorrow you can go to Southers Marsh and play a few rounds. the Willett family. These are uh, show trucks. These aren't the average vehicle you go to the dump in. These are for show. <laughs> Thank you very much for putting the trucks in.
the half track broke down along the parade route, so everyone has had to go around it. So we're just hoping it doesn't break down on this road. Let's say hello to the YMCA. Thank you for all these young folks coming out today on a holiday to observe the 4th of July. Thank you to the Old Colony YMCA. One more time, I think we can hear something from them. Happy 4th, Y. Sun umbrellas today. Next United States Senator from Massachusetts, Jeff Deal, the real deal. The next committee is in the parade is Mr. Deal, candidate for the U.S. Senate. Thank you for being in Plymouth today. Deal for Senate Committee, thank you. Big hello to the Plymouth High School's band. Oh, you can do better than that. I know you can. This is the homegrown crew. We have a phenomenal music program in this community, and this is just part of what they do. Thank you to the Plymouth High School's band. Thank you. Plymouth High School's band. 
We are proud of you. Thank you to all the members of the Plymouth Schools Music Association for the support they give our schools and students. Okay, get ready to give them a rousing welcome. This is a group that we are extremely proud of. These are our state hockey champions. champs. <laughs> Guys had a great job this season. Thank you. Great job. They truly are the champions. The next entry in the parade is the Welcome Home Vets helicopter. This has been in the parade in previous years. It was refurbished this year. Let's hear it for our vets that are marching in front of this float. Thank you to Ken Medeiros and the veterans that have been so kind in putting this together for us. Very meaningful words on the uh, quote. All gave some, some gave all. I don't know if there's anybody here today who doesn't thrill to the sound of those blades. That familiar wop, wop, wop is the soundtrack of our war, the lullaby of our younger days. To someone who spent his time in Nam with the grunts, I've got to tell you that noise was always great comfort. It meant someone was coming to help. Someone was coming to get our wounded. Someone was coming to bring us water and ammo. Someone was coming to take our dead brothers home. And eventually, someone was coming to give us a ride out of hell. Even today, when I hear it, I stop, catch my breath, and think back to those days. I love you guys as only an infantryman can. This float was proudly built and dedicated to the men and women who fought and died in Vietnam. The gentlemen walking alongside this float today are proud Vietnam veterans, members of your community. Welcome home, Vietnam veterans, welcome home, and thank you for your service. And thank you to Ken Medeiros for putting all of this together. Much, much appreciated. Our next political entry is the Trishelli Committee for state representative. Thank you for delivering your message today, the Trishelli Committee. Happy 4th.
The next musical entry in the band is the Black Sea Dixieland Band. Thank you, Black Sheep. 1941 pickup. And has been their tradition to march in the 4th of July parade, Local 346, the New England Carpenters Union, with their famous bulldog. I've heard that if he doesn't go in the parade, they don't go in the parade. Local 346. Thank you for your support of uh, Plymouth July 4th. Next vehicles are from Driver's Edge. That completes Division Two. And we now start leading Division Three, the Cosmos Marching Band. This is the first year that we haven't had Ed Meyer as the leader of this band. Ed, because of medical reasons, can no longer march. We thank him for being in so many July 4th parades. We salute him for his wonderful uh, musical talent. But now, the Brockton Cosmos Band. Our next political entry is Deb Rudolph, candidate for state senate. Deb uh, lives in Plymouth. Deb Rudolph, candidate for state senate. Here's Deb, happy fourth. which is on the waterfront area in the center of Plymouth. Now, let's go out to Manomet and salute Gellers. Miguelas, great ice cream, great music.
Say hello to Susie Geller. Susie, happy fourth. You know summer's here when Susie's at the uh, ice cream shop. <laughs> Miss Bay State Junior Team 2017, Thank you. Gascon, garage doors and motors. Thank you. That's the last of the candy, right? Priscilla Beach Theater has become a very, very popular entertainment destination for many, many people in this area. We wish you another good, good season. Young folks from PBT, welcome. Happy Fourth. We know you still have some enthusiasm left after that long walk. See, there it is, there it is. This is just a sample of what you can get when you have a real ticket, right? <laughs> Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you 
Thank you, PBT. We are so proud of you. Thank you. One more big round of applause for PBT. Thank you, everybody. Happy four. Thank you. You know what, forget it. If you haven't had the opportunity to attend one of their performances, please do so this summer. They're great. Our next political entry is the Helen Brady Committee for State Auditor. Welcome to Plymouth, Helen. State Treasurer. We also appreciate you being here today, once again delivering a message that there are choices in this election coming up in September and then ultimately in the general election in November. Thank you for being here today. The judges are hard at work uh, deciding on the people that are going to get the trophies this year. They will be posted by tomorrow on our website for anyone looking at uh, wanting to see uh, who won the various trophies. Again, don't forget, tonight there's a magnificent fireworks display, and before that uh, there'll be a concert. Stephen, I know you're promising us nothing but the best for today.
Sugar Bear Band, thank Sugar you. Bear. An appropriate way to end the uh, parade almost. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the conductor of the Plymouth Philharmonic, Stephen Cariadonis, uh, please. Happy Fourth, everyone. By the way, let's hear it for Ken Tavares and the entire Plymouth Fourth Committee for putting on a fabulous day. Ken, thank you. You give so many hours to this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, at 7.30 exactly tonight, we have the Plymouth Philharmonic on that very stage performing the 1812 Overture, a salute to the armed forces. Mike Wonkum from Channel 5 is coming to read the, de the Declaration of Independence accompanied by the orchestra. We have music uh, by Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong from West Side Story, and believe it or not, the Jetsons and the Flintstones. So we have a huge program tonight. That's at 7.30. Happy 4th, everyone. And the, the next to me is the uh, governor. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's the end of the parade. Scott Lively for governor. <laughs> Thank you for being here in Plymouth today. Thank you for being here. S Scott Lively for governor. Thank you. And the last entry in the parade is the Shiva for U.S. Senate Committee. We want to thank all of the uh, candidates that participated today. As we have said earlier, and time and time again, there are choices. You've had an opportunity to see some of these folks today. Enjoy the rest of the day. Be safe. Don't forget the concert uh, this evening. Be right here on the stage to my left and a phenomenal fireworks display put on by Atlas Pyrotex. And the last entry in the parade, the Shiva for U.S. Senate Committee. That concludes our parade. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs>